Today we are going to look at a computer monitor that has professional features. The Asus ProArt Display PA278QV and this is marketed as a monitor for content creators like me. Well, we'll see about that. But before anything else, let's roll the intro. Paramount Pro! What's up guys? Ronald and Shal and Puy. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbalik nyo dito sa channel ko. And as I've said in the intro, today we are going to be looking at one of the most talked about computer monitors na para sa ating mga content creators and creative professionals. This is the Asus ProArt Display PA278QV. Now, before we continue, let me give you a disclaimer. Yes, Asus did send me this monitor just to test but they didn't pay me to create this review video so lahat ng mga sasabihin ko about this monitor will be honest and true. And yes, I get to keep it once magustuhan ko and kagaya nga nung Asus Zenfone 8 Flip, nagustuhan ko. So, <laughs> I think I'll keep it. No, hindi na ako mag -iisip. I will keep it. So now, natapos na tayo sa disclaimers. Let me start this video by showing you the things inside this humongous box. First thing you get is a USB upstream cable, an HDMI cable, a DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort cable, a power cable, a color pre-calibration report, an Asus VIP member notice or the limited 3-year warranty card, the stand base, and the Asus ProArt display monitor with the stand. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Asus ProArt Display PA278QV is a 27-inch 16 by 9 adaptive sync IPS monitor. And yes, you heard it right. This is not a 4K monitor because this is a 2K monitor or a WQHD or a wide quad HD monitor. Now, before we dive into the insides of this monitor, let's talk about the outsides or the physical attributes first. It has a frameless design, classy and sleek and minimalistic. And the first thing I noticed is the ruler-like design, no? Sa mga edges niya. I'm pretty sure it's for the creative artists because this monitor features real-size artwork preview using the Asus Quick Fit virtual scale. And we'll talk about that later. Now let's talk about the connectivity or the ports. It has a DVI port for your old computers, an HDMI port, a display port, a mini display port, a line out, a headphone out port, a USB 3.0 upstream port, and two USB 3.0 ports. On this side, you have your power input, a hard switch here. On this side, we have two USB ports as well. It has navigation buttons here and customizable or assignable buttons here, and we'll talk about that later. To navigate through the menu settings and a power standby button here. This monitor has built in speakers as well but don't expect high quality sound okay as these built-in speakers are just for reference audio only. It has a non-glare display so this won't frustrate you whenever there are lots of lights behind you. Now let's talk about the ergonomics. The stand lets you adjust the height, lets you swivel the monitor, tilt the monitor and pivot the monitor 90 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise to make it a portrait monitor. It can also also be attached to a VESA wall mount. Now, let's talk about the insides or the specs that makes it a content creator monitor. First, it is Kalman verified, meaning it is calibrated in the factory before being shipped. So it is guaranteed to have industry leading color accuracy. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1440. It is an IPS monitor with 75 Hertz refresh rate. It features flicker free technology for more comfortable viewing experience and to minimize eye strain, headaches, and eye fatigue. It has international color standard. 
100% sRGB and 100% Rec. 709 wide color gamut. It has this Asus exclusive ProArt preset. It provides quick multiple color adjustments for video editing, color grading, or photo manipulation. It also has this ProArt palette. It lets you customize your display via a wide range of parameters. You can set your hue, temperature, and gamma all easily accessed through the system menu. And as I've said earlier, it features Asus Quick Fit Virtual Scale. This is where this ruler-like design comes in. It lets you preview and align your artwork in their actual sizes before you print them. You can access here the A4 size, B5. You can have your rulers on top and on the side and the alignment grid. This is really helpful for us creatives. This monitor also features Asus Ultra Low Blue Light technology. Now this feature will save your eyes from harmful blue light. It has four blue light filter settings that can be set in the menu UI and you can map them on these customizable buttons. Now that we are done with the features, let me give you my user experience agad since it's hard to show you the real color accuracy using just my camera. <laughs> Hindi ko may papakita sa inyo yung mismong image quality na galing dito sa monitor na to dahil pinapanood nyo lang itong video na to sa YouTube. So honestly, wala kayo masyadong assurance na maganda nga ito. Dahil nga pinapanood nyo to sa YouTube na nakompress na. So, hindi na ako magpapakahirap sukatin ang mga kulay nito. Iba pa rin pag nandito kayo at nakikita nyo sa inyong mga mata yung image quality and yung color accuracy nitong monitor na to. And as I've said, wala kayong masyadong assurance. Pero you can just take my word for it. Now, I used this with my MacBook. Air M1 to give me a secondary display. I used this for video editing and color grading in DaVinci Resolve. Graphic compositing in Adobe After Effects and photo editing in Photoshop and Lightroom. In video editing and color grading, sobrang laking tulong ng color accuracy niya. I can say na itong monitor na ito ay sapat na sa mga kailangan ko. It gives me peace of mind kapag ito ang ginagamit ko for most of my work. Sa monitor na to, I know na black yung blacks niya. Meaning, alam kong tama ang mga colors na lumalabas sa display nito dahil nga, it's Kalman Verify. Even though this is not a 4K monitor and it only has 75% of Adobe RGB, I think this is enough for the content creators like myself since YouTube and online content are just using the sRGB color space. And this monitor has 100% sRGB. That is why this is marketed sa ating mga content creators. Now, now, if you are a serious filmmaker or a professional editor like myself then you will need a more professional monitor and I recommend the more expensive ProArt displays like the PA32UCR-K. Mas solid yun for filmmaking and video editing. But let me be clear. I am not saying that the PA278QV or this monitor is not for you. If you are a content creator that does a lot of content for online use, whether it's video, photo, or any kind of artwork, this is the perfect monitor for you. Ang ibig ko lang sabihin, there are other variants of the Pro Art Display monitors para sa iba't ibang uses. Like for example, yun nga, nabanggit ko kanina, if you are into filmmaking, like yung mga films mo ay lumalabas sa TV, sa Netflix, or sa mga sinehan, go with the PA32UCR-K dahil mas mataas ang Adobe RGB nun. Now, if you do print media for billboards or magazines, siguro mas okay ang Pro Art Display PA329CV. If you are a gamer naman, go with the PA328CGV kasi mas mataas ang refresh rate nun. Now, lahat ng nabanggit kong mga yun ay Asus Pro Art Displays. Okay. This one, the PA278QV, is for the content creators who do content online or mga online materials na ang ginagawa. And since we are living in a world kung saan majority ng nakokonsume nating media ay online media, I think this monitor, the PA278QV, is the perfect choice for those users. Now, if you are wondering, ano nga ba ang performance nito when it comes to 
gaming. Sobrang nag-enjoy akong gamitin ito, no? Kasi mas mataas ang refresh rate nito kaysa dun sa isa kong monitor na may 60Hz refresh rate lang. No? This has 75Hz refresh rate. I know there are monitors that has higher refresh rates but sa 75Hz, I'm all good. Di naman ako serious gamer, no? Casual gamer lang ako. Now, if you're looking for a monitor that has a higher refresh rate, eh, yun nga, nabanggit ko na kanina, no? Kalimutan ko na yung yung uh, pangalan PA328CGV yon pang gaming yon <laughs> now if you are going to ask me do I recommend the ProArt Display PA278QV? Absolutely. But then again, it depends on the demand or sa paggagamita. Again, if you are a content creator that does a lot of online material, this is the perfect monitor for you. The price, super affordable compared to other displays na may professional features din na similar sa features nito. Now, there's another question. Is 27 inch enough sa mga use cases na ganun? I think so. No? Enough na yun. Hindi mo naman kailangan ng sobrang laking display. <laughs> I think 27 inch is just right para sa content creation or even sa professional work. Now, if you are into more professional work nga, I'm sure there is a right Asus ProArt display for you. But for me, for content creation, for online news, or for online media, the ProArt display PA278QV is the perfect choice. Hey, future ko Ryan to, no? Ine-edit ko tong pinapanood nyo ngayon. May isisingit lang ako. If bumili ka ngayon, no? Ng Asus ProArt Display Monitor, meron kang free 3 months, ha? Ng Adobe Creative Suite. Nandyan lahat na Adobe Creative Cloud apps, no? Na worth $238.74. No? Kapag bumili ka ngayon, may 3 months free ka ng Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. So, bili ka na, no? Ha? Ha? Let's go back to the video. Now that has been my review of the Asus ProArt Display PA278QV. If you want to know more about this monitor, make sure you check out the links below. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell as well. Once again, this has been Ryan Denshal. Thank you so much for being here, and see you in the next video.